Hello and welcome, this is Kara Brandon and today I'm going to be making some soapbox minis. These little mini folders, I guess we could call them, <laughs> I've made out of soap boxes that I picked up at Dollar Tree. I love the soap, the Yardley soap, and then this lemon citrus or lemon mint is awesome and I put it in a jar and then I just love the packaging of the soap boxes so I'm gonna use them as a little mini folio I guess we'll call it notebook folio so you'll see here I'm cutting one edge of the soap box and then I'm gonna open the bottom and you can decide if you want the flaps to be come down so that you have little pockets and I'm gonna do that for the one and the far left on the bottom because the lemon is perfect for the pocket it just is already decorated and ready to go and then you'll see here that I'm trimming off where the bend is in the cardboard just to get rid of some of the bulk and then I'm going to trim off the rest of the flaps now you can keep as many flaps as you want or kind of change it up <clears throat> excuse me as however you would like and then I'm going to add some tape to this one flap and then that's going to become a pocket so then I am taking the side and I'm folding it in half and then this is going to become a page in the little folio so see I took a, the edge and then I fold it in half, I add some glue on the back side, and then I'm gonna smush it together, and then this is gonna become a flap. So then you'll have your cover, your back, and then I have the edge, which will also become a fold out. And then it will fold up like that. So then I'm showing you there that I'm gonna make a page using some scrapbook paper <clears throat> I thought this Maggie home paper went well with the lemons on it. I'm going to cut it down to size. And then I'm going to grab a second piece of scrapbook paper and then that will be the back side of the page. Now you could do this many different ways. You could do like I'm doing and just make a page. You could leave the opening um, at the top and then it would become a pocket or a pocket on the side. But for this one, I did glue all the way around so it just becomes a page. So I'm adding, <clears throat> sorry for the coughing, <laughs> I'm adding glue to the section that's sticking out, the tab, and then I'm going to add some to the other side and put my scrapbook paper. So now we have the base and the page, and then I'm gonna add some scrapbook paper to the back cover. Again, this is another scrap of Maggie home paper that I had. And you can decorate these as much or as little as you want. I just think they're the perfect little size to tuck into a journal. And the packaging is just so cute not to use. <laughs> and when you first open them, they smell pretty awesome as well. That does fade in time, but I guess if you sent it to a friend in Happy Mail, the, it would be kind of fun if the smell was still there. And then they would have a beautiful lemon smelling package or a lavender. But like I said, it does fade. Here I'm just adding some ephemera. This is Vicki Booten ephemera that had lemons and I'm adding it to decorate the back cover and then the flap. And then there's another lemon in that same Vicki Booten ephemera pack. 
And then the polka dots on the front, um, I added double-sided tape to some fabric and then it becomes kind of like a fabric washi. And so then I just stuck that down on the front. Here I'm using some more scrapbook paper for the flap. And I'm just gonna trim it down. And then I have a uh, craft color little envelope and then a couple other pieces that I'm going to use to decorate. Just trying to decide where to put everything. <laughs> so I made a pocket in the back and then I'm choosing some pieces of ephemera to put as little tickets in the back pocket. And those two tickets I put in there, those, uh, I have the stamp and the die from Tim Holtz to make the tickets. They're one of my favorite stamp and die sets. I love it. And then I have a little leaf that I have double-sided tape on that I just stuck in the, on the page. And then I'm punching out a couple tags with my tag punch and then a ticket with another punch. little mushroom and then I have this frame this picture or this yeah picture frame Polaroid frame that I have sitting there and I'm not sure where it will go and then I finally decide on the back page and then I put another leaf kind of like it's in the picture frame <clears throat> and here's another one of my favorite stamp sets it's the field notes stamp set from Tim Holtz so I stamped the bottom of that picture and then I'm going to wrap this with some ribbon. And then this guy, he's pretty well done. Isn't it cute? So cute. And you can just tuck it in a journal. And then I'm going to do uh, one of the Yardley boxes. Same thing. I cut down the side. And then at the, the bottom. And then this one, I'm just going to trim off all the tops and the bottoms. I'm not going to make any pockets. So it's basically just a rectangle. But I am going to do the same thing where I take the edge and fold it in half, and then that's going to become a page. Here I'm using my bone folder to make sure it's nice and creased. Trim it up a little bit. And then I'm going to add some glue. And fold that together. And then for this one, I'm using my new favorite Dollar Tree ribbon that looks like the ticking, what is it, ticking fabric? And so I'm gonna add that to the edge of this little folio, whatever we wanna call it. <laughs> and then that's gonna kinda cover my, the, the edge and the back edge and make it look a little more finished. So I'm just adding some fabric tack and then I'm gonna trim off the excess. I've also made with Yardley soap boxes some other ephemera and I will link that also in the description if you want to see what else I've done with these soap boxes. I just think they're so cute and make perfect little junk journal embellishments. So I'll have that linked below if you're interested in seeing that one. Here I'm adding some book pages to cover the white of the inside of the box. And I'm going to add them for all of the sections of the little folio. Add to the little flap that I made. And then I'm simply just going to trim around the outside of the box. And then I'm going to add some glue to make sure that that page is glued all the way. And now to decorate. I 
I was thinking about putting some more ribbon in the middle, but then I thought, oh, it won't fold so well, so I didn't do that. I'm gonna get out some Dollar Tree stickers that I've had in my stash forever that are purple and match the front of the soap box. I'm just gonna kinda dot those around. So this one I decorated a lot more simply than the other one, but I think it looks just as cute. Here I have a piece of fabric and then it's gonna become a pocket. So I'm gonna glue the bottom and the two sides And then I'm gonna find some ephemera after I trim it up to put on the front of the pocket. So this round circle, I have double-sided tape on the back of, and it's also a piece of ephemera that I made from the Tim Holtz field notes. And same with this other specimen uh, piece. You can't really see that it says specimen. But what I did is I used the Tim Holtz uh, embossing glaze, I think it's what it's called, and added some green. And then so now it has kind of a fun, shiny texture that's not really coming. You can't really see it because it's too far away on camera, but it's kind of fun. Added some tickets. And then I'm just going to wrap this one up with a piece of purple ribbon. The one on the top left, I did use Vintage Photo to kind of age it a little bit. Here I'm showing you the one I made before and the one I made in the video. And here are the two Yardley ones. Just so fun and quick and simple <clears throat> and something different to put in a journal. Let me know if you think you will make one of these if you get some soap boxes. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It would be great. And thanks again. Have a wonderfully crafty day. Bye-bye.